Dude, thank you so much for driving me to the airport. I, I feel like such an idiot for leaving my laptop on the plane, but I, I got it back. Thank well, you. It's all right. You're feeling good? I'm. You know what? I'm in the best mood I've been in ever. You're sure? Yeah. You, have you checked Twitter? No. Why would I do that if I'm in a good mood? Uh, Reimer got traded. It's, but he's, it's, he's, it's a rebuild. He's your James. It's a rebuild. You know, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Sorry, Steve. Was it a good trade? Um. Was it a good trade? <laughs> I'm working on it. Give me a. Ah, uh, dude. Uh, the Leafs, ah, the Leafs traded James Reimer. James Reimer. More importantly, they traded Jeremy Morin. The Leafs traded James Reimer and Jeremy Morin to the San Jose Sharks. And it's a rebuild. So for what, you might be asking. Go on, so go on, uh, they got Alex Stalock. He's got a cool mask, very festive. Uh, ben Smith, not good when you almost forget. And a conditional fourth round pick. Oh, good. At least, uh, I guess, at least stockpiling picks in this draft. Run! In 2018. We'll get to the obvious part, which is me being heartbroken that James Reimer is no longer. <laughs> James Reimer got traded. Um, the uh, most important part, I guess, for the rebuild is uh, the return. And I'm sure you don't need me to tell you that this trade is a broccoli fart. The Jeremy Morin addition, I don't quite get if you're like, who the hell is Jeremy Morin? Uh, the Leafs traded him for Richard Panic. It was just kind of a one-for-one one deal with the Blackhawks. Not kind of a, it was a straight-up one-for-one. So if you want, I suppose you could look at, like, Morin for Smith one-for-one, one, I guess. And if that's the case, you get a conditional fourth and Alex Stalock for James Reimer, which uh, I'm pretty sure is terrible. But wait, ah, stop, Arrête. I'm in Montreal right now. The Leafs made a trade about a week ago with the Sharks. Who did they send out? They sent out Roman Polak and Nick Spalling. Gosh, I'm going to miss him so much for two second round picks, and they took back Rafi Torres' contract. Who cares? Spalling, you were never gonna get anything for, and they're just eating up Rafi Torres. Look at that as they cancel each other out. So basically, you got two seconds for Roman Polak. And remember all that gloating we were doing this past week, Leaf fans. Remember all that gloating? We were like, oh my goodness, we got two seconds for Roman Polak. We completely fleeced the Sharks. Look at it this way. The Leafs trade, Roman Polak, Nick Spalling, Jeremy Morin, and James Ryan, James Reimer, for Ben Smith, Alex Stalock, a conditional fourth in 2018, a second round pick in 2018, and a second round pick in 2017. That's a way better, it's a way more even trade. And look, I'm giving the Leafs the benefit of the doubt, which I haven't done for a good three years, because everything they've done in the rebuild so far, for the most part, has actually been pretty smart. The only way I can make sense of this trade, the only way is they didn't feel like they could resign James Reimer, they didn't want to lose him for nothing, so they're like, even not much is better than nothing, let's do it. That, and this is just part two of a much bigger trade with the Sharks. Andrew said it was probably in the works for a while, am I right? Yeah. Sorry for punching you. Sorry. Another thing you could maybe consider is the Leafs freed up some cap space here, but they had some! What, what are you gonna do with it? Acquire two Brian Bickles? And the last thing, the last little way that this trade might actually be of value. The Leafs acquire Ben Smith, Alex Stalock, conditional fourth, two second round picks, and Austin Matthews. Jonathan Bernay is the starting goaltender for the Toronto Maple Leafs for the rest of the season. There are 23 games left. All the French swear words and the Russian ones too. Andrew, look up some more swear words for me. Done. Maybe the Leafs saw how the Oilers were tanking. They were like, oh, you want to play rough, all right? Jonathan Bernier, Jonathan Bernier. Now, this is the part where I talk about James. James Reimer did nothing for the Toronto Maple Leafs, except everything he was asked to do. There is an iconic picture of James Reimer, and I believe it was in his first ever NHL game, which by the way, was not a start. He was coming in after 
Jonas Gustafsson got pulled. The picture is of James Reimer glove tapping Gustafsson as if to say, all right, I guess I'll try to fix this. And the crazy thing is he friggin' almost did. The Leafs went on this crazy miracle run. They won game after game after game. They almost made the playoffs. There were less than half a dozen games left. They still weren't eliminated. And there was that great shootout win in Boston where Reimer falls back in the net like, yeah, because he thought he believed the Leafs would do it. And then he comes back next season. He's the starter. In his first game, he gets a shutout against the Habs! Until the next time they met, Brian Gionta brained him. And he was hurt for a really, really long time. Until he came back triumphantly in the lockout shortened season, and then got hurt again. But then came back triumphantly again, and led the Leafs into the playoffs. A banged up, garbage on paper, cannot out -Corsi a team. Corsi. Cannot out Corsi a team. Leafs into the playoffs. How that ended, I don't remember. Moving on! And the Leafs needed a little bit of help up front. And most importantly, you know what? Gosh, we are not so good at that defense thing. We kind of had to rely on our goalie a lot. You know what we should do? Go get another goalie! And so the Leafs got Jonathan Bernier. It's going great. Lamorello says that Reimer could come back in the summer. He actually said that? He implied it. Don't play with me, Lou! And James stole back his rightful place as the Leafs' starting goaltender until he was traded to the Sharks, which I actually called a few years ago. It was in a different context entirely, and I shouldn't be patting myself on the back for it. But, hey, hey, remember that time the Sharks paid a first-round pick for Martin Jones, and they gave that first-round pick the Leaf divisional rival, the Boston Bruins? That was sick. They can't just lose. Look, if Reimer does come back, that would be super and it would make this trade sting a whole lot less. Not at all, actually, because then Staylock, a conditional fourth, and Ben Smith would be for Jeremy Morin. And yeah, you lose James Reimer for a couple months, but what were the Leafs gonna do? Win? Reimer was the Leafs' first homegrown goalie to really have success since Felix the Cat Potvin, who was drafted sometime around a couple years after James Reimer was born. Are Garrett Sparks and Antoine Bebo the next ones, uh, I guess we're gonna see, on account of Babcock doesn't really seem to like Bernier all that much. Now, I saw someone mention that the Leafs could potentially try to flip Staloc. Uh, I, I mean, I don't know what you get, but if you want to see what Sparks and Bebo have, um, yeah, I guess I suppose you flip Staloc. But they got so many things going on. Parento, unless he's been traded in the time it took me to make this video, and that goes for Boys and Grabner and a bunch of other guys in the Leafs too. Like I said, I'm on the road right now and I need to do like a more appropriate ode to James because I would trade my heart for him and it wouldn't be conditional and it sure as hell wouldn't be in 2018. So goodbye James. Don't laugh! Don't laugh at my feelings!